Aloha, suns and waters. So I kind of got distracted when I came on. I totally had a download and I just lost my train of thought. God damn, that's crazy. Oh yeah, somebody thought something wasn't growing, but it's growing. It's growing. It was growing overnight even, and I feel like somebody could have possibly not knew something was growing because they were going through this kundalini rising, and I feel like it could have, it could have felt like things were stuck or stagnant. But it's not. There was shit going on and you didn't even know. And I don't know if this is, I do feel like it's a business, it's a career, it's an idea, some sort of seed that was planted. I'm also feeling it as emotions. Emotions. Ooh, yeah, I heard earlier that someone came back for the crown and they're not leaving without it. So let's see what's going on with that. Ooh, something flipped. Ooh, shit, we got Antarctica, Australia, and push through. So... Before, it was said that Australia was a part of Antarctica. And Antarctica had a lot of the same creatures living there. Like, they have a lot of, they had a lot of marsupial fossils, which was found in Antarctica. So I feel like things that have been hidden beneath the surface, beneath the ice, is pushing through the surface and you're being called to push through you're being called to nourish your spirit at this time how can they nourish their spirit mm, by smiling more by smiling more i know a lot of people have an issue with someone telling them to smile more but i felt like that was like a guardian angel of yours and it's like these people around you knew how beautiful your smile was. They knew that your smile was the key to unlock your potential and the key for people to give you that recognition you deserve. So do more spiritually nourishing things that allows you to smile. Go do things that make you smile more. Because someone could have pushed that to the side. You know, maybe they were just trying to physically nourish themselves with healthy foods, which led to the abandonment of someone's spirit, possibly. And it could be vice versa, because I know when I was on this spiritual journey, it's like I kind of neglected my physical. And... It's like, what was it? What was the scene? It's like, don't be so caught up in the spiritual realm that you forget about the physical realm. So there's a new home coming. Maybe you're already moving to a new home and you're being called to light candles uh, before you even move into the house. But I'm also seeing you lighting a candle with the intention of Creating a new home for self, building this empire. You're definitely building your empire, but we had Ogun in reverse. Wow, and he almost just fell off the table. So it's like somebody has to trust in the divine more, also trust in their skills. Trust in their skills. You're not needing to manipulate your way into any situations. It's like your truth, your thoughts create a huge impact. So there's no manipulation needed. 
you don't have to force your way into situations you're just being called to breathe breathe it in inhale the good shit exhale the bullshit type of things i'm hearing you're a genius genius you're a genius and you could be really connected to the lotus flowers at this time or maybe you know you've been in the dirt you've been buried right that seed growing out of the mud you've been getting dirty you've been getting what did i just hear seen like you just bloomed into this beautiful flower even though people threw dirt on your name and you're being called to be of service at this time and the service that you offer it's irreplaceable so just know that you could be um needing to be of service with people who are going through stockholm syndrome someone that sympathizes their abusers Or even being of service to people that are codependent to people financially, making them be more stable, allowing them to be independent, allowing them to be in a space where they're creating goals for self. They're creating life where there's death life where nothing was blooming what is it Alpha and Omega and you are worthy fell off the table. We will put a stop to it. Um, so just remember who you are and remember that you're worthy. I'm seeing there's no reason to rush into things because the path is already created. And it's like time is an illusion. You're the keeper of time. So there's no need to rush. Trust the process. Don't rush the, rush the process. I do see someone that has their eye on you. What the hell did I even start this reading off with? I don't even remember what I was reading. Somebody got their eye on you. And it's like you're just in your own world. So you don't even notice that someone's watching you. You can't even see them. You're so focused. But I feel like you can feel them. Wheel of Fortune coming in. <laughs> 